All right, y'all, welcome back to State of the Franchise Gaming. And just because I brought Madden to the channel does not mean MLB The Show is going anywhere. And with that being said, we will open up the Arizona Diamondbacks 25th season with the 2023 opening day against the same team we ended up ending our last season with against the San Francisco Giants. We have changed just a little bit, though. If you didn't already see the offseason video, it'll be up in the iCard. Check it out. It's not very long. Um, and you get an idea of what this roster is looking like. Giants come in. Oh, let's see. 11th in ERA, 3rd in saves, 3rd in walks, 11th in home runs allowed. So, it should be about 80 wins or so. Maybe more. We did sign Luis Severino along with at least one other big time player, which you will see later on in this game. That being said... The opening day festivities and the national anthem and all that good stuff will be up next. All right, here is the free agent side. -y. <clears throat> Luis Severino, 18 and 7 last year, 3-3-2 ERA in 208 and two-thirds innings with a 1.2 whip. He looks to bolster this Giants rotation as their new ace. Here we are starting off the season with the same man that led off, Leading off for the team last for season, Arizona. Mr. Ray Gian. Ten home runs. I didn't exactly get to see how many RBIs it was. You would think I would know this stuff. Probably keep that on an Excel spreadsheet. Anywho, Severino serving up four pitches as AB, and it is a changeup well below the knees as Guillen strikes out as the first batter. I can tell Marte is on deck. Vincent Campos now the new, maybe not new, he was the starting shortstop most of last season. And he strikes out on a slider below the knees. About the same spot that changeup was in the last AB. Back to back punch outs. Let's take a look at that again. Again, devastating slider with an eight inch break, but because it curls across the zone, it causes a lot more trouble than you know, your ordinary changeup. Marte pops up in third base territory, and you know what? I forgot that Joey Gallo played third, or else I would have offered him a contract. Probably would have had to overpay to get him, but. You know, we could have had him, you know, on our roster. Should I have been more aggressive last offseason? Please let me know again if you haven't seen the offseason video. Please check it out. Alex Dickerson down on strikes from our ace pitcher, Zach Gallen. Will Wilson will start off the season. I forget what position he plays. Doesn't matter. He pops up near the pitcher's mound. And that will be out. Wilson plays shortstop. All right. Dickerson, Wilson, Freddie Freeman in the second season as a giant. Gallo, Yastrzemski, Bart is now the full-time catcher. Dubon, Adam Frazier is now their second baseman. And Luis Severino will bat ninth. Freddie Freeman, 41 home runs and 121 RBIs. He didn't win the MVP. That's all right. Anywho, a one pitch grounded right to our first baseman, Seth Beer. He'll be taking over duties at the number three spot. Number three in terms of defensive numbers. <clears throat> leading off for Arizona, Here is Seth Beer the leading off the second. Seth. Hopefully he can at least double those numbers that he put up last year. Eight home runs, 28 RBIs. He gets one airborne. A four-seamer is going to be hit the left. Dickerson, not going to have issue with that one. We move forward. Carson Kelly now moved up in the lineup. Now batting fifth. I mean... If we've got some kind of offensive output, I'm going to move him up at this point. And the check swing on the changeup umpire. You've got to be kidding me. He is. He should at least be seeing another pitch at this point. What the hell? Aquino, who Loki had a he has decent season. 17 home runs, 61 RBIs. Gets out in front of a changeup. Grounded to Gallo. He's going to gun him out. And the second. So you got a couple people out there in right field. They're not in right field. They're in the water right field. Looking to catch a splash ball. 
as Mike Yastrzemski steps to the plate. He is a pull hitter and is known, and he will hit it that far out. As a matter of fact, he hits it in the right field, and it is, oh, shh, it's going to happen triples alley. I hate, I hate triples alley. Of course, the only reason why I'm saying this is because I'm playing against the Giants. When I had a Giants series on my main channel, Stadium for Franchise Sports, and I do a lot of IRL sports content, or at least that's now the direction it's going. Gallon gets a strikeout. I did have a giant series. It didn't go very far, but I liked it when it was in my favor. Don't like it now. Nonetheless, no score on the board at this point through two. All right, Joe Corson stepping up in his very first at bat. Remember, we drafted him in the first round last year. And. Again, I could have signed Gallo to play third. I could have signed Escobar back for another year or so. But I decided I want Corson to start the damn season in the Major Leagues. Hopefully, we won't stifle his growth with how terrible we are. And here's the first pitch he sees in his Major League at that, and it's damn near 100. Oh, boy. I really should have signed Severino. Anywho, second pitch is yet another fastball. It was fouled off as he got in front of that one. Quickly staring at his very first strikeout and his very first plate appearance. Oh, this disgusting changeup. Man, Luis Severino was coming out gunning. He jumped to the fourth. Freddie Freeman at the plate. And he is going to hit this one into Triples Alley unless Pache can get it and he can't. It bounces. It is hitting the brick. It is a double. Better than a triple at this point. Joe Gallo is going to ground it up the middle. And Pache, what the, oh my goodness, dog, what are you doing? Bro, I know we're in San Fran, but how much butt you smoking? Those are the cutoff. In the third, Gallo is actually going to be out. What do you score that? Eight, six, five, out? Yeah, that's about it. Corson gets his first assisted out, I think. Yeah, that would count. Round to the second, Marte over the first. We get out of the fourth. They do have a one-run lead. Which I am now forgetting how the hell they scored. Oh, well. All right, Aquino has worked. Severino to an 11th pitch, and he is going to drive this fastball in the left field. It is going to bounce on the warning track. Hit against the wall. Dubon retrieves it. He's got a two-out double. Actually, our first hit of the game is we are now in the fifth. Joe Corson with an opportunity to get a, get his first hit, get an RBI. Hell, get a first home run if he could not ground it to first. Smoke too soon. One day, we'll see it. It's only opening day. We've still got 161 more to go. And he's not yet done with his day. Zach Gallon here in the fifth. Almost 60 pitches. He gets yet another punch out. Both starters on the mound just rearing back, firing away. Bond grounds at the short. Campos throws the first, and he is going to throw it off the line. His beard stumbles off the bag. That is an E6. I, he had good. Oh, he had good foot placement. I think he may have rotated his wrist a little bit. I, I don't know. Whatever. Nonetheless, ground ball to Campos. He's going to redeem himself to Marte to Beer, and we get out of the inning. That gallon with an opportunity to get on base. Grounds it up the middle. And air mailed into the dugout, or yeah, the dugout at this point, it ain't even the crowd anymore. Great Gian gets a weak contact fly ball to right center field, and he is out. Gallon will stay put at second. Come on, can we get a run across? We had the same issue last year. I know that I'm, I know that this team is rebuilding, but like, we got to see some progress at some point from anybody, particularly offensively. Pitching, we're okay. I feel like our offense would really help a lot more than really trying to get another pitcher. We've got a lot of young arms in the system. And they get a base hit into right field. Will Wilson, 0 for 2, drives this one to right field. Aquino will make the catch. Get it back in the infield. Freddie Freeman has got that double earlier. If it didn't land, hell, he probably would have scored. And he's going to lace this one over Beer's head. He's going to roll in the right. Aquino will retrieve the ball, fire it into Marte. Preventing an extra base. 
Gallo one for one, or one for two on the day. He swings and misses at a 12-6 curveball. We jump to the seventh. That gallon still out there. 90 pitches. Ground ball to first. That'll probably be the last batter we see him face. We jump forward. We still only have one hit. Come on. Joe Corson. Come on, dog. I mean, when Sevy's throwing that slider like that and it's tilting and dropping, there's nothing you can do about it. He is 0 for 4 today in his major league debut. Oh, boy. Christian Pache, not a guy we expect to do anything offensively. He continues to fit that narrative. Through eight, and we're still down one nothing. Right, Blake Walston will come out of the bullpen. 66 games. This is officially his third season in the league. 292 ERA. And a 131 whip. Alex Dickerson is on deck. Brandon Belt. Mm. Blast one deep past the Levi. Levi is landing state line. Into the water. Let's be real. Somebody in a kayak has got on a baseball. Take a look at that again. Absolute destruction. No doubt about it. You take a 2 0 lead. Next batter, Alex Dickerson, 1 for 3. He is going to lease it over Compost's head and into the left center field gap. Gian retrieves it. He is safe at first. Back to back. It's given up by Walston, and Wilson will ground it right past the underneath the glove of Beer. Aquino's strong arm saves it from being runners at the corners. Freddie Freeman lines it in the right, and again, Aquino's arm is literally power. Power batting, sometimes power hitting. Wait, it's the same thing. Power throw is what I meant. Joey Gallo, bases loaded. Drives this one deep to center. Pache on his horse. He cannot make it. It hits off the end of the show 21 side. Into Campos. A third runner coming to the plate. The backhand attempted a tag. Kelly cannot tag him. Oh, boy. The funny thing is I don't think any one of these runs are credited to Loisaga. Ground ball to second. And we just going to end that one. The Giants in pretty much dominant fashion. Despite the fact Zach Gallon pitched pretty well. We're going to get slapped with the L5-0. Don't leave. There's more. All right, we're going to actually do three out of the four games in this series. This one will be a player lock episode. And they are coming out in one of my favorite uniforms of theirs. The orange and black. The mostly, the all, most orange and black. I do like the Giants jerseys. All right. This is a player lock featuring Joe Corson. He faces Dan Winkler. We're going to try to get him his first hit. Let's be real. Hmm. Let's get him off the snide, get the monkey off his back. You got to start somewhere. Ground ball right back to Winkler. And he's going to throw come him on, out on, first. Come on, come on. No issue there. All right. Jumping to the top of the third. And apparently, Arizona's offense has started now to score bad. when I have no control of them. <laughs> Four to two. You're in the top of the third. Runner. Actually, we don't have any runners on. One guy out. Winkler, 60 pitches. He hasn't gotten through the third yet. Just a pitch. Cut. Fastball. Diving away. Almost moving like a slider. Actually, kind of does move like a slider. Third strikeout and second in a row for Winkler. Take a look at him on defense. Not much of a fielder. He's okay. His arm strength just doesn't really lend himself to playing third all that well. But... It's what we drafted him as. It's where he's going to play for now because Marte makes up uh, will handle second. And Beer is at first, probably for the time being. Corson does play first and second and third, so that's why he's playing third at this present moment. Throw over the first. Aquino is caught napping. Thrown out at first. Come on, man. You're not even a base deal like that. Why are you even bothering? Corson will strike out on the fastball, diving. Low and away. He struck out for the second straight at bat. Take a look at that again. He was... Uh, his timing wasn't bad. It just, just didn't connect. We were way out of the zone. Anywho. All right, Corson. Fourth AB. We've got the lead. Ugh. Jeez Louise. It's 
sliders, fastballs, change up. Bro, you can't connect on nothing. Now, we do get the victory, which is good. This is the earliest we've gotten a... Actually, that might, this might not be the earliest we've gotten a victory. I think we've no got an open day win probably back in 2021. This is 2023, all right? Three hits, three RBIs from Compost, three strikeouts from Corset. Beer contributed a RBI. I rolled this Chapman, who we just got, pitches two-thirds of an inning, and now has a 27 ERA, giving up two runs. All right. We are in the third game of the series. Tell Marte 23 home runs the last season. Yet to blast one yet. We are up one nothing. Split finger fastball doing and dirty. From Kevin Gaussman. Joey Bart at the plate. Ground ball to Campos. Campos flips to Marte. Marte to first. Double play. Just barely. Second AB for Marte. Ah, gets out in front of the splitter and grounds it to first. That'll be no problem for. Abreu, Jose Abreu, who I thought about signing as well, but I just said, nope, 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 I want to build my own, and we're probably going to be asked for another season, but listen, we got to make strides at some point, we'll see. Anyways, running at the corner, we are only down one, a ground ball can still get us a run, and oh, geez, what are you swinging at, dude? He's at least 6 for 18 against in his career, two doubles, I don't even need you to get a hit, just get a... Nice fly ball, and you're going to swing at the splitter because you thought it was a four-seamer. Kevin Gaussman is going to throw that splitter all damn day if you keep swinging at it. Believe me. Pitch number 66. Oh, that looked like that was a check swing, but, bro, you really got to control that. Your shoulders, your, your arms, all that a little better, man. What are you swinging at? Jump to the seventh, and we are now down six to three. Zero oh for three, Martinez. He drives this one deep to right field. It is going to be foul, but it's going to be caught in the corner. It could have hit the wall for all we know, but we can't see out that far. Fifth AB, and I don't think you guys have seen me get a single hit. Nope, you did actually. Aquino's hit and check swing on the high slider. He is going to be out. This is a freaking disaster. Holy hell. All right, Giants have taken two out of three games, the first and the third game. The fourth game, I will sim. Campos, two for five. Aquino, three for four. Guillen, two for five. We simulate the last game of the series, and we lose eight to three. You will see probably the entire of the entirety of the Astros series. This is Rainbow Upstate of the Franchise Gaming. Peace out.